Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Dark Souls 2. It hasn't actually just been a lunch time I've been away for but an entire day because I've been rendering videos and doing other stuff really. But I'm back in now and I'm ready to take down that damn giant so what's the quickest way to it? It's teleporting to that bonfire in it yeah. So we're planning on taking down the giant now, we've got extra dexterity, we'll go to the forest of fallen giants, the cardinal tower. And I think I remember the way, it's the quick way to the boss now because we unlocked that door as a shortcut. So we'll head our way to the boss and see if we can take down the last of the giants this time. And hopefully we can. Died last time but we're not going to do it again. Alright so we've got a fire longsword on and the cleric sacred chime. Uh, we can't use the halberd yet. We can use the bone hand axe maybe? Be two-handed. Do we have the stats for it? Maybe. Yeah, we do. We can actually like hit things with it effectively. So we could try out this bone hand axe, but the fire longsword may be better. It's hard to tell. And we'll go down the stairs here, or the ladder, and go for this boss. Just up here. That corpse doesn't come alive, is it? Well, someone's after us, it seems. But he ain't gonna come down here, is he? I say it now, but he probably will. Alright, let's take on this damn boss and kill this big giant. Let's see how effective it is on this guy. Ah, oh, not so bad. Does more raw damage than the mace, I think. One hat. Oh, well, that was two handed normal swings, though. But it does swing faster than the mace, too. So we can get two hits and then dodge out the way. Get our life gems ready. Let's equip our Estus Flask because we could use it during the battle. Put our ooze on. And let's give this another go. Right, let's get our blood stain back first. We need them souls. Yeah, it's like 4k souls. That's a lot of souls. That's good damage. Two hits and dodge out the way of the foot. Attack the foot. Keep attacking the feet. Right, let's not make the mistake we did last time where we ran out of energy. Oh, we got hit by that. Okay, let's back off a bit. Oh, we can manage to block that just. Let's just leg it and drink our Estus. Yeah, that works alright. I suppose drinking Estus isn't as slow as I thought. Right, two hand a leg. Dodge out the way of that hand. Dodge out the way of the foot. Keep attacking the foot. No, I did it again. Life gem that. He's using a lot of stomps there. Oh, he got us with his hand. Okay. Are we alright? Yep. Dodge out the way of that. Life gem again. We've got them healing miracles, actually. We should start using them. Attack the foot whilst he's distracted. Make sure we can dodge it. He'll pull off his arm soon. We've got to watch out for that. Three stomps. Watch out. Okay, he dodged back. Fine. We'll just let him have some distance. And he's pulling off his arm now. We've really got to watch out for that. Right, he's going to get us there. Run in. Get close range so he can't arm sweep us. And I think we should unlock the camera. That seems to be more effective than staying locked onto him. Right. Stay back, make sure we've got all our energy so we can dodge after a hit. Oh, we got us there. Let's bait out an attack out of him. And heal up. That takes ages to do, that hurts. Ah, bugger. I think we should roll towards him instead of away. 
That might be the problem here. Because he's got too much reach with them arms. And we can't block him because he just breaks our block. He goes a slight bit more of our health. Can we still survive a single hit? I'm not sure. But let's go at it again. This guy's a bitch. I'm almost out of ooze too. Should we go back to that fire longsword? Maybe. Turned off my steam sounds, apparently I'm not turned off. Apparently Tyler's having a tough time too, so it's all is well. Ah, no. Let's not die right here. I just died again, didn't I? Because I got distracted. Curse you, Tyler. God damn you. I just died in a completely bullshit way there, getting distracted through steam. Oh, I'm going to turn off my Steam sound notifications because they were supposed to be off. Screw you, Tyler. You just killed me. And now I'm losing even more health and dying over and over. Alright. Just one second. I am back and I've died twice, which is a real bitch. Because that second time was bullshit. But I, I'll talk to Tyler later. I'm busy playing here. It's serious stuff. And we lost our 5k souls. That's the worst part. I hate you so much, Tyler. God damn it. My guy isn't very impressed either. Look how zombie... He's like, I hate Tyler too, Jason. <sighs> there goes 5 soul k souls for no reason. Not because I couldn't recover the blood stain. Well, technically it was, but... It's because... Tyler's stupid. Like, die, die. Imagine it's Tyler's face. Tyler's face is fighting back. Destroy Tyler's face. Alright, is this really the best weapon we could use? Or could we use something better? That apparently it says 120 damage in a strike. 100 damage, thrust, slash thrust, but it'll attack faster than the other weapon. Ooh. 110 damage slash frost. This looks much more promising. Let's use this weird yellow greatsword we have here. Oh, long sword. Yellow quartz long sword. What's the description of it? Straight sword afflicted with yellow quartz. A long sword is found in the iron keep. Breaks easily due to corrosion, but it's light and it still inflicts very significant damage. Now we only need it for one fight. So let's go in with this instead, I guess. And use one of our healing miracles, seeing as it takes so damn long to cast. And they consume your energy too, which is the worst part. We're going to go two handers legs anyway. That's, that's effective. Hooray for steam advantages. I think we, this is one of the weapons you get for pre-ordering on Steam. Ow, got swept by the arm. I right, get back from the fur life gem up. Can we heal up? Let's try it. it takes so long to do. Like, right, bay out an attack, then use it. Did we get away with it? We did this time, good. But then we're out of heals, we have to use our ooze now. Oh, we got an Estus, actually. Right, die, feet, die. Oh, crap, he's jumping back. He's not on half health, so I don't know why he did it. Right, die, legs, die. Unlock the camera, just run straight towards him instead of getting arm swept. Then punish his legs. Then attack his legs. Dodge out of the way of that. Attack his legs again. Whilst he falls off his arm, take advantage of that. Get some free hits on him. Oh crap. 
Oh god, he's got a big arc on that, isn't he? Run really far towards him here. That's just up behind him. Attack his legs. A dodge out of the way of his legs. Stay near his legs. Attack his legs. Dodge his legs. Attack his legs. Dodge his legs. Attack his legs. Dodge his legs. <laughs> Keep rinse and repeat. I uh, attacked his legs twice. That is the unholy rule of don't do that shit. God damn it. If I didn't attack his legs twice, we would have had him. Shit. And so the hollowing continues. Do we lose more health? We do. The prophecy is coming true. We slowly hollow. Which is a real bitch. God damn it. Um, is there something else we could use to help us out with this boss? We've got Lois Hasman, so we could boost our luck. That doesn't really do anything. We still survive two hits. Green Blossom would help, I guess. We could put one of those on. Use one of those for the fight as a temporary buff. And we're going into it again. This guy's gonna die. And I don't care. How long it takes. No steam messages. No bullshit. This last giant, the first boss in the game. I will kill him. We will kill him. This is certainly the best weapon to use on him. It does much more damage. We just need to get our dodging down. And we can do it. Let's not try and take damage on this guy this time. They're saying that I shot any box 95% of damage, so. It's not going to do much anyway. And then murder, destroy. He is dead. Now we go for this asshole. Use our green blossom. And our energy will regenerate faster. Then we just get rid of Estus Flask for this. We'll, take, we'll pick up the 90 souls we got off the guy last time. Attack, attack. Oh, this quick regeneration is nice. No. No, oh, we got stepped on. Right. Get back, life gem. Oh, we managed to block it. Good. Attack legs. Right, stay behind him. Attack legs. Unlock the camera. Attack legs, dodge, attack legs, rinse and repeat. I'm gonna get two attacks on the leg here, one attack. Let's get forward and get some room here now. Get back, have him try and arm process, and we'll run straight past his arm. Then attack, attack. Dodge a foot, keep attacking the foot. There goes his arm. We've got some free hits in for that. Well, one free hit. Dodge your foot. Attack the foot. Dodge your foot. Play defensively. Oh, missed that. Good. Oh, he sweeped us with that. Run away. Life gem. Well, he's not at us, he's not at us yet. Get some more regen, because he can't reach us from here. Run in there, and get out of the way of the club. And he tried to whack us a bit, good. Dodge out of the way of the foot. He's doing a multi-stomp attack, good. we got all our energy back to sweep at the feet here. Oh crap, dodge. Right, stay back. Stay back, dodge that. Attack, attack, no, back. Attack, no, no, don't attack yet. Now attack. Back. One attack, should do it. Yes. Victory achieved. Soldier key, soul of the last giant. Hooray, the soldier key. What the hell does that do? I have no clue whatsoever. We could have put our travelling merchant helm on.
Is it way less? Way slightly more, but it gives us the luck. Wait, um, does it give us more defense too? Like, we should have just had that on all along. Forgot about putting that armor on. How do you put armor on? Oh, yeah, head, headpiece. It gives us so much more defense, a slightly extra weight. We should have that on. We should use this yellow quartz sword for now, because that's proving handy. Alright, now these have extra defense. We should put this extra defense stuff on, shouldn't we? Uh, put those on. So you give us more defense. Put these on, and then put these off. I think it gives the most defense. Still medium roll. And we got our key now. What the hell does the key do? Uh, I'll be in our keys. I guess there's a key slot somewhere. Uh, stars, bows, rings. Oh, is it further on? Yeah, spells. We've got great soul arrow. We can't really use that. Uh, open soldier's door in the forest of giants. That's probably one of them locked doors we missed out on. We've got the blacksmith's key. We already opened that up. We did it. Good job. We'll see if we can find where we opened the door up then. Because there's nowhere to progress on. Oh, is it this door? No, okay. It's not that door. We'll try the other locked doors. Maybe it's that locked door near the fog. Got our fancy beret on. Is that a monocle? It came with that trader's headpiece. Actually, let's bank our 10k souls. Maybe that's a better idea. You know, there's risk losing 10k souls after you just lost 5k souls. Or play it safe. I think we're going to play it safe. Travel back to Majula. And level ourselves up so we can start to use that halberd soon. That's not a... That's quite a cleric weapon, isn't it? I suppose clerics don't really have assigned weapons of size like holy maces and hammers. Bearer seeks seek the nest this land. Yep, yep, yep. Upgrade Estus Flask? I do not have an Estus Flask shard, okay. Level up then. Uh what do we need? Strength and dexterity. Let's level up our strength because we were lacking in that. Uh, 14 and 12. Right, cancel it and find out what we need for this. No, don't level up. Me alone. Uh, what do we need for this halberd? We need 20 strength, 14 dex. Okay. So we don't have enough for it. Unless we use some of our souls, which we... Well, we could use the soul of the last giant... But we don't know what we upgrade it to either. It'd be awesome if we could make the giant's arm as a weapon. Wouldn't that be pretty sweet? Bearer of the... seek, seek lest this... But yeah, uh... I guess we'll level up for now. We need 14 decks for that. I think it was 14 decks. And then we'll level up our strength so we might... Eventually be able to two-hand the... Weapon. Actually, do we need 18 or 20 strength for it? If we need... Only 18 strength... Then we'll be able to two-hand it. Uh, right. We need 20, alright. So we, oh, we can two-hand it. Look at that. You use it. Bloody hell, that's a weird way to use it. Like, foom, foom, whoa. Right, how, how does the attacks work? You can poke with it, one-handed. You use a lot of energy up. Uh, you can two-hand it and just swing like that. What does your two-handed R2 do? Oh, your big spinny death attack. One-handed R2. Big overhead. One-handed R1. Just a swing. Uh, guarding R2. Still big swing. But when you're holding R1, when you're blocking and press... R1. I'm saying R1 because I'm used to PS3. Like, 
I suppose it's left it's right bumper if I look at the controller here. Right bumper pokes whilst you're holding your shield up. You use a lot of your energy up though. It's not like a spear. It's a big weapon. How much damage does it do to? 175, that's pretty decent. What was it saying? It's info. Halberds are combinations of axes and spears with unique bladed tips. They can could be used in spear-like thrust attacks or in axe-like sweeping attacks. The halberd challenges a warrior's skills, but can be a very effective weapon when its two functions are applied properly. Okay then. Either that, or we could just spec towards using something like the a big just a sword or a mace. Crushy weapons. We could use the mace for now, I guess. I have no idea what weapon we want to use. Right. Right, I have no idea what that timer down there means. Right, so... I have to check it out for here, don't I? That's the only way you can check out the stats, isn't it? So, 120 damage... 30 poise and that 215 durability. The mace has crap durability though. I was, I was looking for a weapon with good durability. This halberd has 70, which is alright. It's most it's more than all these other weapons here. Let's get let's get the Let's use the halberd. It's effective two-handed. Probably does a lot of damage. I knew you'd be around soon. Right, uh... Equip my gun. Now, right, you already, you yeah, I've already heard of this. Um, can we reinforce the halberd? Yeah, we can upgrade it to do 192 damage. Sweet. I'll be around if you make it back. I'll make it back, don't worry. Alright, let's go find this door we need to go through and carry on. Into the... well, whatever the next area is called. <sighs> Alright. That'll be a lot of fire there. Alright. Are you alive? Not anymore. Spinny attack is dangerous. He has his own halberd. My halberd's better. Oh crap, not you again. I almost died to you last time. No. Bad. Very bad. Hollow soldier armor. I almost died again. So it's not very good. We're almost out of life gems too. Let's put on our... Let's get rid of these witchling irons. We don't need them. Put on our Estus flask, obviously. We've got four human effigies, so it's not so bad. We could always just use one of those if our health gets too low. Uh... Carry on. Bye. Any undead in here want to murder me? Alright then. Oh, that's what the key's used for. Let's carry on. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be going here yet. But we've got a key for it, so we are going here. That's a big guy over there. It's a small guy here. I'd rather battle, battle the small guy. Oh, this guy is already harder to kill. Be wary of left. I see what you mean. Die. Dodge. Dodge. Do not block these guys. They're probably too big. And they do that. No, kill him before he kills me. Heal up here. Should we be here? I don't know. But we're doing it anyway.
guy over there, he's not so big. Black, high bomb and homeward bone. Any secret walls here? No. It's very dark. I have to look upwards on my screen so it looks a bit brighter. There's you there. Come here. Would you die? And would I please not get ambushed? Okay, I'm not getting ambushed. We're fine. There's no ambush. Why would the game ever ambush us? Alright. Secret walls, secret walls, secret walls, no secret walls. Oh, big guy, I hear that. Let's get a bit more space over here. And we don't need a shield because this guy's too big to block. You're gonna. Okay. No. Dodge. Oh, he got us again, goddammit. No. You're a big boy, aren't you? No. He's a very big boy. A very, very big boy. Maybe we need some more help. That might be an idea. Did we lose any more health? It's hard to say. It's like, did we very slowly lose the health? I thought it would be at half health by now. Um, alright. Maybe we shouldn't be there. Them guys are a bit big and deadly. They take less damage than we think. But where else could we go? We can go to Things for Wicks and take on them Rawlers. Or we could go to one of the other areas outside of Majula because, well, we've been there and we know that you can jump down that pit. That contraption might be able to open that door now. So, yeah. Let's go and attempt to hmm, open that contraption, seeing as we got that. Maybe that's a sign to tell us. Hey, this is where you should be going next because this lady sells this thing that opens up the contraption. I may be completely wrong on this. But surely it's got to open that up, innit? If it doesn't, then, well, I guess I'm wrong, but yeah, it's worth a shot, isn't it? Get some weird stone contraption for some weird frozen person that can't open the door. It's got to be. They've got to match up. Hello. He does give you the willies. I'll open that up. I killed you last time. I can kill you again. That's cheating. No. At least this halberd has reach. That's pretty handy. A nice effect to it. Maybe these guys will be seeing here. Ow. We should just kindly close the door on him, but no. That works. Just do a spin on him. Do a spin. Does this open this up? Statue blocks your way. What does that cube do then? Does the cube not open the door? Or is this supposed to be like the kind of Sen's Fortress style thing where we can't open up until we've done the prerequisite things? Like rung the two bells of awakening. Maybe we'll get it all together eventually. Apparently the block... Let's take a quick closer look at the block. Activates Pharos Contraption. Some activating of a creation of Pharos the Vagabond. Pharos the Vagabond is a legend who wandered the lands, creating contraptions to help those insincere and dire need. The scope of his travels is so wide that the Pharos have been mistakenly accredited to many adventures that are crafted by others. So, what did Pharos the Vagabond create? He didn't create that contraption, obviously. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to open it there, unless I was missing out on where you're supposed to put it. Wasn't any clear hole indicated, so I guess we we'll go back to that bonfire and find out where we've got to go. We can go down that pit. 
Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, you again. Go on. <laughs> Hello, hag. You gave me that contraption. Yeah, see? You got it there. Oh, you sell a heal miracle, which we've already got. So we don't really need it again, do we? We sell amber herbs, life gems, we could do some of those. We ain't got any souls though. They are. Certainly lonely times. Right, rest it here to get our health back, because we're going to need all the health we can get, especially with the amount of life gems we have. And I guess we jump down the pit? Or go down this way. I mean, I'd prefer to go this way, because I hate pits, because that usually means Blight Town or Valley of Defilement. All the nasty, squirmy, poisonous areas that nobody likes in a Souls game. Contraption does not move. Oh, this has got to be the contraption, isn't it? Yeah, this has got to be the contraption. Do we have to use the item? Uh, where are we? It's not a key. Um, can we not use it? Oh, come on. This is what the key has to unlock, isn't it? It's square. Inventory. Let's say locked by some kind of contraption. What's the sign say? Miracles acquired ahead. Alright. There's something through there. Okay, we'll carry on, I guess. Chest ahead. That's a phantom, not a chest. I can't take this, therefore bravery. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go now. I mean, if there's one way we could go, but it has nasty turtle men that'll just kill us. Left and then treasure. Just double check. Can we not? Yeah, we're here now. It's not. It's not a mimic. Don't worry. It's gonna be a booby trap instead. No. Okay, we're fine. Crimson Palmer. Oh, that's a shield. Interesting. How good of a shield is it? Uh. Crimson Palmer. Crap. Okay. So I need to know. Oh, we've got 50 percent. Oh, that's yeah, because the halberd's so heavy, isn't it? 55, 52, 53, 50.9, but it blocks 25 percent physical damage. Surely really want to block 90 percent physical damage. It doesn't seem to be many shields in this game so far that block 100 percent physical damage. In Dark Souls, you usually had the luxury of being able to hide behind your shield and take no damage. I mean, there's probably there probably is shields that block 100 percent of physical, but I don't know. Uh, guess we'll wear lighter stuff. I want to keep these robes on because they look nice. We could take these off and put on the... No, we can't put on the hollow infantry boots. Uh, put on the imported things. Take these off. Ah, uh, we want the leggings though. Nah, uh, but only puts us down to 50.9. Uh, there's no way. Well, we can go to 47.4. It's not as great, but 50.1. Come on. Fine, we'll. 47.4 will do. That means we could hold another weapon, I guess. Hmm. It's a heavy weapon we've got here. We'd use a short bow. And then a, a chime. And then put on some arrows in case we need them. Fire arrows. Alright. We have the option to archery, which I never tried yet. Haven't tried it in this game yet. Heard it's better. Try lever and then praise the sun. I will try the lever. 
This is starting to look like the actual Blight Town area. Where is the lever? Left up. Up there. Oh, yeah. Thank you, people, for pointing out how stupid I am. I will find this lever, and I will praise the sun afterwards for your help and jolly cooperation. Here! It's not very obvious, is it? It's a very crappy lever. Alright, le lever, but ladder? Yes, what ladder? Switch ahead, okay. I like it's how it's the thing right next to the lever that tells you. Are we getting this again? Oh crap. Oh, it's closing on us. Is this how we get out? Oh, we can get out by doing that, I guess. I guess we can get out by doing that. Don't know why it has to lock us in every area. Usually, he just kind of walks in them, but. Broken Thief, Sword, Soul, Lost and Dead. Okay. Tough enemy ahead. Visions of Death, but good luck. Tough enemy ahead, good luck. We can do it. Oh, look how pretty this is. Where's this tough enemy? Scared of the tough enemy. Hides Tower of Flame. Look at this. This is this is prettier than the Forest of the Fallen Giants. It's just a bunch of ruins. That's the tough enemy that's ahead. Okay. Can we do this? Probably not, because we can't even handle the big turtle guys. There's a bonfire there though. Can we just rush straight to that? Toggle, weakness, circling around, right. Touch bloodstain. Try to run away. No, tried to cast spells at it and just got killed to death. Try gesture. You're bigger, aren't you? And you murdered us. He doesn't let up. Tried to get hit on him, but he just killed us. That is a tough enemy. Everything feels really sluggish in my character. I don't know, like, if everyone experiences this, but your character just feels too slow to be able to retaliate. Might be the weapon I'm using. Maybe I shouldn't be using a halberd at this point. Maybe a halberd isn't for me. Hmm. This game does drop you in. I guess that's probably not the way we should be going either. But all we have to do is get past him and then we'd be able to get to the bonfire. But we didn't even hit him once. So we don't know how much damage we've got to do to him. I guess we could go for like maces. They just got kind of a crap. Yeah, not very good at... I like weapons of reach. Halberds have reach. But they're kind of sluggish. We can go for a straight sword, it's nice and fast. Or we can go for an axe. Let's stick with the mace for now. The mace, he didn't, he didn't ask questions. And it's alright. Um, yeah, I have no idea where to go. We could go back and try and kill him again. Might do that. Probably just cut to when we get to him, because there's nothing really interesting up to there. So, we'll try and kill him again and see how we do. Like, see how much damage we can do to him. That would be a start. Here we are again. Hides Tower of Flame. It says go right. That seems to work. Oh, this guy isn't so bad. We do a lot of damage to him. We just walk around him in white, the right direction. These messages are helpful. And he's dead. Maybe this is where we should be. You weren't so bad. Mace wh whacked him down a peg. Got our 180 souls back. And we can use this bonfire. Tough enemy ahead. He weren't so bad. He's had to 
take advantage of the fact he was was a I guess he was right handed. Was he left handed? I don't know. But yeah, the way he swung, I guess you run around the right of him and then you're fine. Toon spells, we don't have any spells. And now we can travel to Hyde's Tower of Flame and Hyde's Ruin. Yep, we're done Crestfall and retreating the Cardinal Tower and the Forest of Giants. I guess we'd move on to Hyde's Tower of Flame now. Uh, let's go on with that.